Victor. The most delicate blush-colored petals rush around as the soft, warm breeze picks them up from the ground. These flowers want to be more like more white than pink, and I cover my ice cream with my hand, lest I eat a bowl of pollen. She does not mind that I take issue with all the seating options, and we finally find a bench. I frown because it's not in the sun, and she chuckles and says she does not mind my indecision much, and freckles paint her face lightly like God used the speckling method on her, flickering them across her cheeks and under her eyes with the roll of his thumb across the brush. We talk about things that actually matter, and I feel light all over, which makes me realize that I had been heavy all this time and had no clue. She makes me wish I was a photographer so I could capture this moment, her perched on the arm of the bench, the petals rising and falling, swirling around her, the wind playing peekaboo with her hair. She makes me laugh past the wall of fatigue and that threatens to drag me under, taking my mood and spirit with it, but I am light as a blush petal around her and giggles find their way out of my chest. And as we roll down Tom Ave, singing along to my guilty pleasure music, I feel the need to thank her for listening, thank her for being her, thank her for her presence, her deep brown eyes that make you feel so ridiculously tethered to this temporal world. I think I've experienced an inbreaking of the kingdom. I find it hard to believe that it will be a place where all our wounds are gone. We'll be healed by moments like these, and God will look at us with his deep brown eyes and say, no, that's really messed up. And we will be healed.